Hi, I'm Alice. I'm a Regeneration Project Officer working at Tamworth Borough Council. Today I'm really excited to be able to show you behind the scenes of one of our regeneration projects that's part of our Future High Street Fund. We'll be heading over to what was formerly the Cooperative Building, which is now going to be our second enterprise centre, to have a look inside and see what progress we've made so far with the works. So come take a look inside the site with us and we'll show you around and show you what progress we've made so far. Let's go take a look. Hi there, so now as you can see we're inside the building. Um, I really wanted to point out some of our wonderful heritage features that we're hoping to preserve. We've uncovered this part of the tiled wall but obviously throughout the works we've had them covered for their protection. As you can see it's a real beautiful feature, part of the original um, building. We're not planning on changing this at all, planning on keeping it here. And as you can see we're going to make a real feature out of this heritage staircase. We're now up on the top floor where we've managed to do some opening up works and also start work on separating the room into the partitions that will be needed when it's a, a usable office space. So one of the key features that we uncovered when we were opening up the building are these original wooden arches here, which I think you'll agree are a lovely feature that we're hoping to keep and preserve. Um, they were cased in for quite a long time, so it's great to see them revealed as you can see, we've got some wonderful original feature windows which let in lots of natural light and will be really lovely for whoever takes this space as an office when it's fully let. Um, you'll notice that some of the panels along the top are missing at the moment. That's where our stained glass panels were located. We've sent them away to a specialist uh, restoration company to get them restored and then reincorporated with the new windows that will go in here. And like I say, we're hoping to make this as much of a feature as possible and really highlight the beauty of the stained glass windows and let as much natural light into the room as possible. And also during the opening up phase of work, underneath the carpet we found this beautiful original parquet flooring hidden underneath. Our contractor has sensitively restored the flooring, given it a nice stain and a varnish to bring it back to its original glory. Again, at the moment this is mostly covered for its own protection whilst we're doing the works. But again, we think this will make a really stunning feature when these spaces are eventually let. I'm still on the top floor and I'm stood in front of where the two buildings used to meet. So if you remember, there used to be the co-op department store attached to the offices here. We've now got a college building being built next door, so there won't be a passageway between the two. So we've bricked this up in the interim and we'll tidy this up obviously before the area is let. As you can see, I'm stood on a slightly raised level. You may remember that this was raised when there was um, an entrance between the two buildings. We had hoped to level this off so it would be um, as accessible as possible and all on one level. But again, during the opening up phase, we actually found there's an integral large steel beam beneath us. So we couldn't move that, unfortunately. Throughout the rest of the building, again, we're trying as hard as possible to make the building accessible without compromising on the building's character and heritage. We are installing a platform lift elsewhere to aid with that accessibility. And behind me here is where the lift entrance will be to this particular floor. I'm stood in front of one of the original safes which we're going to keep in the building uh, to maintain some of that original character. Most of the safes that weren't of any sort of heritage value we have removed from the building. There was a considerable number of them that we had to remove when we did the opening up works and they're now obviously disposed of off-site, but this one we're hoping to keep as a key feature. Another one of the original features is the original entrance to the toilet. We are also keeping these in situ, and as you can see, the tiling carries on throughout into the bathroom lobby area. We're also keeping that, and as you can see, the red ties in really well with the colour of the tiles, which is a nice feature. I'm in another of our office spaces, and as you can see, we've also got some interesting wooden beam features in this room which again we're going to keep to preserve the character of the building. You remember I mentioned earlier about some of the safes that we're going to keep inside the building. This is one of them. We think it makes a really interesting feature in this office space. It could be used for storage if someone wanted to or it could just be closed and left as a feature. That's really heavy. I'm inside our sample room. This is where we sign off any finishes before they're applied to the rest of the building. As you can see, it's very much work in progress at the moment. We've got different paint samples along the walls. We've got some of our M&E fit out happening as well. And just generally, obviously, this is very much a work in progress space. Again, 
you can see the parquet floor here. Originally, this was in quite a, a bad state and we've obviously had it sensitively restored to bring it back to its former glory. Um, it's covered at the moment, again, for its own protection. Throughout the building, we've tried to keep as many original features as possible and be sympathetic to the history of the building and some of the changes it's gone through over time. As you can see behind me, there is some of the original cornicing, which we've painted and again, tried to make a feature of. And over here, we've got some exposed brickwork, which we've kept in situ because again, we think this makes quite a nice feature. So I'm behind the counter of what would have been the original reception. Obviously, we've pulled out the partitions, the late 20th century ones that were added. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got one of our newer replacement windows fitted in. Tried very much to keep with the theme of the previous windows that were here. You can see some of the original skirting down here as well, which again, we're hoping to tidy up and keep. And we've got three really lovely original windows along here, which we're hoping to restore once again, to keep that character in this room and bring a lot of nice natural light in.